This is a three-minute message brought to you by Redemption Church, Delray Beach. In chapter 2 of Galatians, Paul continues uh, this laying a foundation of the importance of the gospel in our lives, but he doesn't leave it to just our own individual lives. See, Paul reminds us in chapter 2 the importance of passing on our faith to others, that we don't live inside of a bubble and that we shouldn't just simply live for ourselves. We use the analogy before of a bus that you've now, uh, you were running towards a bus that was about to leave, but they waited for you. And so you got on the bus and, and we all have this natural instinct once we're on the bus to say, okay, now the bus can go. But Paul reminds us there's other people running towards the bus. There's other people who still want to get on and we should be asking the bus driver, hold on. There's one more person to come on. There's more people who need to get on this bus. We need to hold open the doors. We need to make it available for other people. And this is what he reminds us in Galatians chapter 2. In verse 5 he says, We did not yield in submission even for a moment, being that he didn't give up the faith. He continued pressing on. He didn't yield in his faith. He pressed on uh, towards uh, the heavenly prize that God has for us. He continued strong in his faith. And he says, so that the truth of the gospel might be preserved for you. Who are you potentially preserving the gospel for? Maybe a coworker that sees you live out your faith day by day. Maybe a family member. Maybe a friend. Maybe a child. Maybe your own kids. There's, there's so many people who are looking at your life. We don't live inside of a bubble. And there's people right now who are seeing how you are handling situations. People who are seeing how you live out your faith. And we want to preserve the gospel for them. We have received this great gift. And part of our responsibility is to make sure that people see that gift in our lives. That we'd see, they'd see that hope. They would see that joy. They would see that peace. They would see that life transformation that we would be preserving the gospel for them so that they also may receive the same gospel we have. And so may you think about others today as you go about your day, as you are following Jesus step by step. Remember, it's not just for your own good. It's not just for your own sanctification. These are all good things, but let's have a greater purpose in mind. This is for the salvations of others. This is for uh, their hope, for their joy, for their transformation, that we would continue steadfast in the calling that God has for us so that other people may also have this great faith and have this great hope in Jesus. So may you go throughout today uh, just recognizing how you influence other people and how you can bring hope of the gospel by simply living out and preserving that truth for others.